night and so by Sunday morning you will notice the difference in the temperatures. As we said, actually the last advisory on 12 has been issued, so 12 is no longer a system. 13 now is the one that we'll be watching, but as I said, this one is not going to threaten the Gulf of Mexico. 35 mile an hour winds. It is now a depression. Expectation is that once it moves away from this is Venezuela, this is Colombia. Once it really starts moving away from land, we'll start to see it organizing and strengthening. Won't have a very big window to continue strengthening before reaching Nicaragua, Honduras, as it is Julia becomes maybe a low end hurricane before moving inland. The issue is going to be not as much the wind, but the rainfall across the very mountainous terrain of Central America. That is usually when you start to see those mudslides is probably a more immediate concern for those countries as we head into the weekend. For us, though, no tropical threats. 86 degrees are high tomorrow. The drier, slightly cooler air moves in for the weekend. Beautiful weekend, beautiful start to next week. And I think a lot of us will be cheering for maybe a few scattered showers as we head toward the middle of next week before what looks to be a possibly stronger cold front for the end of next week and next weekend. So if we can time these cold fronts out for the weekends, mm -hmm. we're in great shape. And the